guys, baking soda to lighten skin. So today I'm going to talk about the actual evidence and scientific literature there is to back up that if you put baking soda paste all over your skin, you know, like rub it, like mm, just let it soak in that you're just magically, you're just magically gonna get lighter skin and all the dark spots that you're trying to get rid of they're just gonna disappear and you know if you're trying to make your inner thighs lighter your armpits you don't like how dark your armpits are that baking soda is gonna fix that no i'm not saying this to like diss the other videos out there that are promoting this thing but i you know i want you guys to actually find something that's actually gonna fucking work for you okay you don't want to waste your time your money your energy on using something to try and solve a problem in your body that's not even gonna fucking work and it's gonna be a waste total waste of your time you want to actually find something that's gonna actually work so i'm gonna share with you alternatives natural alternatives that you can use that actually been shown in actual studies to actually brighten the skin. Just because baking soda takes out stains in carpets and clothing doesn't mean it's gonna take out dark spots in your skin because your skin is completely different than a stain, right? The pigment in your skin is different. It's not a stain, which I'm totally sure that you're aware of, that your body produces melanin, which is a pigmented, which makes the color of your skin. And so these natural alternatives and natural things that are actually gonna whiten your skin actually interfere with your body's ability to make melanin or the pigment, the thing that is responsible for the pigment of your skin skin okay so what am I talking about unfortunately you can't find this in your cupboard in the kitchen conveniently you actually probably would have to buy it online or at a health store or at some cosmetic store or something so the first thing I'm gonna mention is called kojic acid kojic acid this is a really popular natural brightening ingredient that lots of cosmetic companies use as a whitener because it actually works. Kojic acid is a byproduct of the fermentation of wine rice, soy sauce, and Japanese sake. So I have no idea how the hell this was even discovered that this whitens skin. Someone's like, yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, rub fermented soy sauce all over myself and just mm, look how like white I am now. Like, I have no idea how they even figure this out. But it turns out that this kojic acid prevents the formation of what is called tyrosine. And that is an amino acid that your body needs to produce melanin. The things that are responsible for all the darkness and dark spots. So when you put it on the certain areas that you want to correct, your body can't make pigment anymore. And so it's going to be, your skin is automatically going to be lighter from that. The second thing the second ingredient that uh, it works to whiten your skin is called arbutin. Arbutin is an extract of the beer berry plant and it works in a very similar way that kojic acid does. It also blocks tyrosine activity and reduces melanin skin production. So it basically just works in a very similar way that kojic acid does, okay? You might be thinking, okay, where am I gonna find these, you know, obscure ingredients? Easily, you can easily find them. All you have to do is go on Amazon.com or .ca, depending on the country you're in, search up these ingredients, and you will have a whole list of different cosmetic creams that have concentrations of these ingredients in them, specifically formulated to lighten your skin. If I were you, I would be perusing all of these products. I would be looking at the concentration. I would be looking up the reviews to see if it actually worked on other people. I would be doing mad research. You can search on Google too for products on Google. Just do your research online, figure out what's the best brand, the best bang for your buck that has both of these ingredients in them. And that is gonna solve your problems, not baking soda. Baking soda is actually dangerous to put on your skin because it's too alkaline. Your skin is naturally a little bit acidic, so you're gonna mess with the pH balance of your skin if you put something so alkaline on your skin, it can cause peeling acne, dermatitis. It's just gonna cause you more problems, you know, than what you originally were trying to solve. So definitely look into these ingredients. They are gonna, you know, actually work for you. They are gonna be worth your time and money. If you're interested in videos, more videos like this about things like home remedies that actually work and don't work, definitely check out my channel and hit subscribe. I'll actually link a whole video about how a Vicks Vapor Rub can make you lose weight and um, the alternative that I give that actually does make you lose weight. I'll link that at the end card at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!